amazing. Oh, this is the greatest sandwich I've ever made. So today we're going to learn about super simple and super fast lip sync in Blender, a free 3D animation program. So the first thing you need to do is open up the file with your character. So I will just choose this one here. Go to the default workspace. You're going to want to go into object mode. So click on object mode and right click on your character and go to the data icon. So it's three points joined by lines, like a little triangle. And then we're going to go down here to shape keys. And there's a little plus button. So click on this plus button twice. First one basis, next one we'll say key. Let's change the name of key to closed. So we're going to make this a mouth closed shape. After you've done that, with close selected, go down to edit mode. Okay, we want to deselect de this here, so I'm going to click A and then. What we're going to do is we're going to close the lips. So select the lower lip. So these two, I'm using shift and right click. And I'll just turn on screencast. So you can see what I'm pressing. So shift and right click and then click E. Now for me it's only moving in one direction now, that's perfect. It's going in lots of different directions. You can press Z to move in the Z axis. This blue direction is Z. And then I'm going to do the same for the top lip. So right click, shift, holding shift down and right click. And now E. And then that's going to be my mouth. So that's the closed mouth position. Okay, so now that we have made the mouth, the closed mouth, it's time for us to add the sound and start animating. So go to object mode, and you can see here it's gone back to the default position. We can test our new mouth. So if I go down to shape keys on the data menu, click on closed, where it says value, I can left click and drag the mouse to open and close his mouth. I'm going to bring that back to zero. And I'm going to click I with my mouse on top of value. And this is just started, it's added a key for animation, which we're going to use in a minute. But actually that was a mistake because it wasn't at frame zero. So I'm just going to undo that, Control and Z, and click on this button here to go to the first frame. And now I'm going to click, go over value again, and press I. And now to do our animating today, we're going to open up a new panel. So left click on these three uh, lines in the corner and drag the mouse to open a new panel and we're going to want to open the graph editor so click on graph editor with this little icon at the bottom graph editor it opens up and this is where we're going to do our animation so if I click on key which is this little uh, this was made when we pressed I earlier and then I'm going to go down to the key menu at the bottom right hand corner of the panel and click on okay so we can't add it yet we need to click on this down arrow sorry and click on value then key big sound to f curves 
going to open up my sound file, click make sound to F curves, and now we can see here this is our sound file. So next you need to click N, click N on your keyboard and this little properties menu will open up. Then we need to click add modifier envelope. So now we need to change the minimum value which is going to be zero. We might switch these around later. And then the maximum value if I click on this and drag till the line, the dotted line, goes to the top of our sound file. Now actually we might change this around later but we'll just see what this looks like. If I click add point and now if I play my animation this is actually the opposite of what we want so we're going to need to change this around. We want his mouth to be closed when he's not talking and open when he's talking. So I'm going to click pause go back to the start and delete that control point. So let's change this to point 3 and change this to 0 and then try add point and now we can test our animation again by clicking play. Okay so now we've done the animation but there's no sound. So let's add some sound quickly. Okay, to add sound, either open a new panel or change an existing panel, change an already open panel, to the video sequence editor. So click on the icon, the color button in the corner, click on video sequence editor, and go to frame zero by clicking on this button. Now we're going to add our audio file. So here is the sound and just drag and drop it here. And now we should have sound. So if we test our animation It's amazing! Oh, oh. This is the greatest sandwich I've ever made!